Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So last night I was on Instagram live, which by the way, I am loving. So I asked you guys on there what video you wanted to see next and basically a full face of new makeup kind of one. So I've got a whole bunch of new makeup -y bits in front of me right now and I guess I'm just gonna get started. I'm gonna go in with moisturizer first. This is the Tarte Drink of H2O moisturizer. I'm assuming it's like water or gel based, but I'm gonna put this all over my face. It looks like it would be really similar to the Clinique Moisture Surge, but it actually feels really good on the skin. And then for primer, I'm also gonna go in with this Tarte product right here. This is the Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. And it says that you can use this for a primer, setting spray, hydrating mist, and skin refresher. So I'm just gonna spray this all over my face. That smells really nice and refreshing, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna let that sit into my skin for a little bit. And while that is sinking in, I'm gonna use this Becca Color Corrector. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector and it's in this peachy shade right here. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm just gonna add this underneath my eyes and also a little bit around my mouth. So my skin feels really, really sticky from the moisturizer and the setting mist. So hopefully it goes away after a couple of minutes because I wanna go in with a foundation. This is the Stila Stay All Day Foundation and Concealer. It has a little concealer thing at the top here, which looks like this. Um, and then it's got the foundation in the bottle. I love using a concealer, which is like two shades lighter than my skin tone, just cause I like to conceal and highlight with it. But I can't wait to use this because I love like that whole stay all day kind of range. And I'm gonna use this silicon sponge to put it on to my face. I am really skeptical about this. I've seen so many videos all over Instagram and YouTube and I'm like, really? I just love my beauty blender so much that I feel like this is gonna be really disappointing to use. Okay, so this doesn't come with a pump. Oh cool, it comes with like a little spatula thing. I like that, okay. I'm just gonna shove this onto the back of my hand. That is probably way too much, I'm gonna scoop some out. And if anyone is wondering, I'm using the shade eight. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the foundation. I've got my beauty blender ready because I don't know how much I'm gonna love this. I mean, it's blending it out, but my beauty blender could do such a better job. Obviously this doesn't soak up any product, so you would get a lot more use out of your foundations. <sighs> but I'm just, I'm not liking the feel of it on my skin. With a beauty blender, I will bounce it on my face for ages because I feel like I'm getting a massage. But with this, I don't really know. I don't really know what I feel about this. Okay guys, I'm officially retiring this because I did not like it. I'm gonna go over with my beauty blender and I'm gonna add some more foundation in the areas where I feel like it really wasn't adding anything. Sorry, I've got a hair on my face. Um, I felt like around my nose, I just have no product because it was really difficult to add it there. I really like the finish of this foundation. It's nice and kind of like glowy, it's not too matte, and it still makes my skin look quite skin-like. Obviously, it does look like I've got foundation on, but it's nothing too heavy. I don't know whether it'll last all day, but I don't really wear makeup all day, so I'm not too fussed about that. Um, but now I'm gonna take this concealer here. This is the Rimmel Match Perfection. This is in the shade number 10, Ivory. And I'm gonna put this onto the usual areas where I like to conceal and highlight my face. This kind of reminds me of the LA Girl Pro Conceal, like the tube of it, but now I'm just gonna blend it all away using my damp beauty blender and see what the final kind of result looks like. So this concealer totally reminds me of this Tarte Marajuka like creaseless concealer. Very similar in consistency and very similar in the way that it kind of looks on my skin. But I am gonna go and set that. I'm gonna use one of these new powders by Makeup Forever. This is the Ultra HD powder and it's in this yellow toned shade right here. You guys must know how much I love a yellow toned powder. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, I can't wait to get you onto my face. That actually looks really, really nice on the skin. And I feel like the camera is picking up really well. It's kind of like smoothed my skin out in a weird way, but I really, really like the way that that is looking. 
I don't really have a new setting powder to set the rest of my face, but I'm going to take a little bit of my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Medium Plus, and I'm going to put that all over the rest of my face. For a cream contour, I'm going to take this Mighty Contour from Soap & Glory. I generally really like a lot of the Soap & Glory makeup products, so I saw this cream product right here. It's like the perfect mix of a cool and warm toned brown. So when I saw this, I was like, I have to get it on my face, and I didn't realize that I actually had this until I was looking for new makeup in my stash. So I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna go ahead and contour the areas where I want to bring in my face and add some shadow. Wow it's quite pigmented. Don't use as much as I just did guys. <laughs> wow that's really pigmented you guys. I'm really impressed. It's blending into the skin and into the rest of like the makeup really well as well. Although I set my face like because I wasn't gonna go in with a cream contour and then I saw this that I had it here, so I was like, no, let's try it out. So even with the powder underneath, like it's blending out really nicely. To set the contour, I'm gonna take some of this Tarte Park Avenue Princess Matte Waterproof Bronzer, and look at the color of this. This just screams my name. It's so cool toned, and I just can't wait to get this onto my face. So I'm gonna grab this Zoeva 105 Luxe Highlight Brush, and I'm just gonna go and set everything in place. This bronzer is really nice i really like it it doesn't look too like pigmented in the pan but it looks so nice on the skin for blush i'm gonna use a california which is this new blush here by benefit i love the packaging of this and and it smells like holidays like it smells like fruity holiday and sunshine like all rolled up into one and oh my god i just can imagine it looking so stunning on the skin so it comes with this brush here it's kind of curved i'm just gonna put this in here oh it's taken all the gold off okay so the gold isn't like a forever thing it's just like the top layer generally i don't really like these kind of brushes but i mean it's doing the job it's quite good for when you're on the go and you want like a top up Oh, that's so pretty. <gasps> I personally love a good like coral blush and oh, I really, really like this. For highlight, I'm gonna first go in with this really cool product right here. It's called the Dewy Stick and it's from Ciate. So when you open it up, it just looks like a balm. Like it doesn't look like anything crazy. But when you put it on your hand, it just gives you a glow with no color. So I'm gonna get this onto my cheeks. I'm just gonna go directly on there and just hope for the best. Actually, I'm gonna put it on my fingers and then put it on, because I don't want it to move around any product underneath my makeup. So if you compare sides, this is a side with the dewy stick, and this is a side with nothing on. So this has definitely given a really nice glow, and it just makes my skin look really healthy. I mean, it's not moved around any product underneath too much, which is always a good sign. Okay, I really, really, really like the way it's looking, but I feel like my cheeks are looking too shiny because I brought the product down a bit too much. So I'm gonna take some of this blush that I used and I'm just gonna add it to the center so it kind of mutes that shine a bit. Okay, that looks so much better, but I do wanna set that in place just because I don't want it to look too like oily, if you know what I mean, throughout the day. So I have a couple of different highlights. I've got this like spongy, like putty highlight from Stila and it just looks so cool. But I feel like this might not mix well with the product that I've got underneath. So I'm gonna go in with a powder. And Zoeva came out with a bunch of highlight palettes and this one excited me the most because it's like that kind of unicorn looking highlight palette. So I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is like the pinky tone in this and put that onto the tops of my cheeks. So that dewy stick was such a stunning like base product to put like powders on top, but even stunning by itself. But I did apply a good layer of that highlight on and wow. I'm really, like, I really like Zoeva as a makeup brand. I think that they have stunning brushes, but equally amazing, like, palettes. And I'm definitely loving their highlight palette. So they've got two more as well. The one that I used was the Winter Strobe Spectrum Palette, but they also have a Spring and Summer Strobe. So the Spring one looks like this. It's a very, like, white and bright, but they've all got different undertones to it. And then the Summer one is more kind of on the bronzy side. 
it actually looks quite similar to the Huda um, 3D highlight palette. So you've got like the really intense like white, the pink, and then like the bronzy shades. I'm gonna move on to eyes, and since I've had my brows microbladed, they literally look like this all the time, but I do fill them in really slightly just to kind of like give it a little bit more thickness and just to make them look a little bit more fluffier. And for that, I'm gonna use these Zoeva kind of graphic eyebrow pencils, I think. No, they're called the Graphic Brows arsenic sounds like a superhero thing um but one end you have a spoolie and then the other end you have the product and i'm going to shove this onto my eyes if i can find a mirror so the shade that i am using is maybe the shade of this is called arsenic because i can't find like the shade name of this so i'm just going to get this and i'm going to just put feathery strokes into my brows and just thicken them up a little bit and to set all my hairs in place, I'm taking this 3D Brow Tones from Benefit. This is in the shade number four. And it's supposed to add like 3D hair strokes to your brows. So I'm just gonna give this a go. It's just making them look really nice and fluffy. I quite like that. So I've just primed and set my eyelids. I use the Sephora Waterproof Eyeshadow Pencil and this is in the shade 33 Secret Boudoir. It's a really nice like nude skin tone shade. And then I set it in place using my Charlotte Tilbury powder. So for the eyeshadow, I have two palettes that I have recently got. One of them is the Man Eater palette from Tarte. And then this one is the Too Faced Honey, no, Too Faced Peanut Butter Honey palette. I think I'm gonna use this palette right here because I really like a lot of these like smaller Too Faced palettes. And this has got some really nice peachy tones that will go with my cheeks. So I'm gonna first take the shade. So I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here called Peanut Butter. And I'm gonna put that into the crease of my eyelid and use that as a transition shade. Oh my God, you guys, I just realized this actually smells a little bit like peanut butter. Oh my God, I really like that. Okay, so the eyeshadows themselves are so pigmented and they're really easy to blend. They are pretty much similar to all the other kind of Too Faced smaller palettes like this. So I'm gonna take some of this pink shade right here called Honey Brittle and I'm gonna add that into my crease as well. Just cause I want this look to look really like feminine and peachy and pinky. For eyebrow highlight, I'm gonna take Queen Bee. We all love a bit of Queen Bee. And I'm gonna put that onto this Zoeva Luxe Brow Light Brush and put that onto my brow bones. For the remainder of my eyelid, I'm gonna take some of this Bee's Knees shade. It's like a really nice, like warm brown with gold flecks. So I thought this would look so nice on the bulk of the eyelid. I'm just packing this color all the way onto the lid. Okay, this really sucks because you can't really see the gold like glitter from this eyeshadow onto the eyes, which is really annoying, but I'm gonna go in with this shade here, which is called Going Nuts, and I'm gonna deepen the outer corner just so that it makes this eyeshadow look, not look too plain. I'm gonna leave the top eyeshadow like that for now because I know when I go in with my eyelashes and everything, I will add more color into the areas that need it. But now I'm gonna add some mascara and I'm gonna use this Tarte Tartius Mascara. I really like the Tartius like range that they do. So, oh wow, this is a really thick and chunky plastic wand, which is what I love. So I'm just gonna coat the top lashes. I like this mascara. It's been so long since I've used like a high-end mascara, but it has really made my lashes look really nice and like even, if you know what I mean. Like it's spread them out and it's added that volume. It's not added too much length, which is all right because we are gonna add some false lashes. But now I'm gonna work on the lower lash line and I thought this color right here, which is called Honey Buns, has just been screaming to me. So, so using this lip contour brush from Zoeva, I'm gonna take some of this shade right here, really saturate the brush, tap off any excess, and I'm gonna run this on my lower lash line just to add a bit of like oomph and a bit of like differentness to this look. I don't even think I'm making any sense right now, you guys. I just don't want this look to look really boring and, oh my God. I swear I just got some of the powder in my mouth. And it does taste a little bit like peanut butter, in case you were wondering. I would not recommend eating it, but it does taste very peanut butter-like. <laughs> I actually really like that shade. It just makes the whole makeup look look really different. But I am gonna take some of this Feeling Nutty shade and just run that long really close to my lash line, just so that we're giving some gradient to the look and it doesn't look too like yellowy underneath. I've just added a quick coat of that same mascara to my lower lashes. And now I'm gonna tight line and I'm gonna use my favorite 
which I haven't been able to put down, which is this L'Oreal Infallible Gel Eyeliner. And I'm just going to tightline my top waterline. And this will transfer really slightly onto the lower waterline, which I'm totally fine with. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. And in my last video, I kind of told you guys how I can't wait until they have a nude version of this. And apparently they do have a nude version because I saw it on their Instagram and I was like, ah, I need to get it. So note to self, put that on my shopping list. Um, but now that the eyes are kind of almost there, I'm going to add some lashes. I maybe want to do a winged eye. I'm not too sure yet. But I finally got my hands on the iconic lashes, which are from House of Lashes. And I am going to put these on. So many people rave about these. And when I saw these on, I think it's falselashes.co.uk, they stuck a whole bunch of different brands. When I saw these on there, I was like, let me just put them into my uh, basket real quick. So yeah, I've got these and I'm gonna first make sure that they fit my eye. I don't actually need to trim these, so I'm gonna put some lash glue on there and let them sit for a bit. So while I'm waiting for the eyelashes, I feel like I wanna put some glitter on this look. You know me. So I'm gonna take some of this Tarte Eye Jewels. There's like a double-ended like glitter shimmer thing going on, but I'm gonna take the glittery side and I think I'm just gonna run this along the lower lash line. Or maybe just, no, let's just do it on the whole lash line. And then I'm just going to take my finger and just spread that out a little bit. I don't want it to be too, like, neat looking, if you know what I mean. I love how that just adds, like, a tiny bit of sparkle to the eyes. I really like that. Okay, so I think the eyelashes are ready to be put on. I have really high hopes for these because everyone goes on about how amazing they are. So let's give them a go. Okay, these eyelashes legit took me 25 minutes to put on. They are really stiff at the band. And I felt like they just were like poking up in the inner corner. I mean, that this one's feeling a bit more comfortable to wear. This one's still drying slightly, but I feel like they look pretty. Like I understand why people really like them, but the band is quite stiff for me. I personally prefer a band which has a bit more movement to it, but you can't deny the fact that they do look really fluttery and really, really pretty. But now that I have the lashes on, I'm gonna go ahead and rub my stuff everywhere. Like I was saying, I'm gonna add some more eyeshadow to the areas where I feel like it kind of needs it and just kind of deepen up any areas that I feel like need it. Because once you have your eyelashes on, you can sometimes find that colors have like disappeared, like the outer corners, especially definitely need like deepening up. So I'm just taking some more of that going nuts shade and really going to town, going nuts and adding it all into the crease. I was gonna add a winged eyeliner to this, but I'm, I don't know. I'm not too sure whether or not I should attempt it because of the eyelashes, but I don't know. I'm feeling like maybe adding like a fake wing. So I'm gonna grab the Steeler Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner. I used to have this years ago and then I think I lost it or I used it up or something. But I finally got my hands on a new one. So I'm gonna add a fake wing on both of my eyes and just blend that into the lash line so we don't have to go ahead and actually do a full on like wing. Okay, so I lied. I added a full on wing to both of my eyes. The way that the eyelashes were positioned, I kind of couldn't do the fake wing um, because one of them is slightly higher than the other. Really sorry about that. Moving on to lips now, I'm gonna take a Huda Beauty liquid lipstick. I have basically had these for a while, but I've never really given them a proper good go and a test. So I'm gonna take the shade Flirt. It's quite a cool tone shade. And I'm gonna put that on my lips. Okay, I feel like it's looking way too dark. So I'm gonna add some of this MAC lipstick. This is the Lip Tensity lipstick in the shade Doe. It's quite a nude tone shade. So hoping for the best, you guys. The last thing now is to set everything in place. So I've got this illuminating spray right here, which is by Cover Effects. And I'm gonna put this on just kind of like these parts of my face. And hopefully this will make the highlight really pop. So I'm gonna try and kind of like cover the rest of my face. I don't know how illuminating it is, but hopefully that will be enough. <laughs> And for the rest, I'm just going to finish it off with this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea one, which I used earlier on in this video. 
So this, you guys, is the final makeup look and obviously using all new makeup products. I feel like I might make this a regular thing because I love watching these types of videos and it's always fun to just play around with makeup and let you guys know my thoughts. Obviously, they can change over time, but at least let you know my first, like, initial thoughts on products. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. It's quite monochromatic with a pop of glitter and a yellow on the lash line, something a bit different. But yeah, um, that is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button which is down there and make sure you hit the bell on the side of it so you get a notification every single time I upload and yeah I guess that's all for now I feel like I've blabbered on so much in this video and I will see you all in my next one bye